Hi everyone. So today what we're going to look at is how you can use Google Slides or a PDF to display your Bitmoji Classroom, your hyperlink document, your interactive, whatever it may be, um, that you uh, inside of Microsoft Teams that you may want students to use to navigate to websites or use as a resource page. Um, so you may first be saying, Joe, why did you create this video? You created a video of how to do this on PowerPoint. Why would I use Google Slides or a PDF? Well, depending on your use case, you may want to use Google Slides um, for different reasons or a PDF for different reasons. For example, Google Slides does show up, um, it does render better. So the PowerPoint, for instance, has a slight blur to it. Some people may notice it, others may not. Um, also, animated GIFs don't work in the PowerPoint when we embed it into Teams. So if that's something really important to you, you may want to use Google Slides. For a PDF, the PDF is the most simple solution for you creating some kind of hyperlink document, um, your you know Bitmoji classroom or office that just has links to different web pages. If it's just a static page, a PDF actually works really well, um, and you can design it in PowerPoint still, um, and then just publish it as a PDF. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, before we start, actually, let me just show you one reason you know that I ended up using a Google Slides presentation for. Um, with the pandemic, I had an idea of, I teach computer science, and um, in computer science, there's this kind of a funny thing that um, you talk to a rubber duck when you're trying to debug your code and read through your code and figure out what's wrong. So I have some rubber ducks in my classroom. With the pandemic, um, students won't be able to use the rubber ducks just because we can't be sharing those type of of you know materials and surfaces so uh, I wanted to create a virtual rubber duck um, so let's go actually go over to one of my uh, classes so we can check this out so this is built with Google Slides and um, you can see how um, you know I would I'd want to have something like this with animations and it's interactive um, and so this works a lot better than PowerPoint for me so um, you know I, I created this with that. So um, now the students can talk to this virtual duck. It is really more of an Easter egg kind of funny thing in my class that the students really enjoy, especially the ones I've had for a couple years now. Um, so let's go over to um, where I'm going to work to show you uh, how to set this up. First, well, let's look at Google Slides, just like kind of what I demoed for you. Let's say you wanted to create some kind of interactive like that, or your Bitmoji classroom, you wanted to have some animated GIFs, or you just want to use Google Slides. Um, what we can do is we go over to Google Slides, and here I have my daily agenda um, that you may have seen before um, in Google Slides. And so if I want to add this as a... Um, as a um, tab inside of my Teams, um, what I need to do is I need to publish this on the web. Oh, first, what I wanted to show you is that, you know, animated GIFs do work inside of the slides. So I'll kind of just leave that there so we can check it out. So if you go over to um, File, you're going to go down to Publish to the Web. And so when you do this, you're going to go over to, um, you're going to say, okay, yes, publish to the web. I've already clicked this, so that's why it's, you know, it didn't prompt me with that. You'll get this prompt, and you say okay to it. And then what we need to do is we need to go over to embed. Now, the link will work at first for you inside of Microsoft Teams, the app. If you want it to work inside the web app, you need to use this embed code because um, the the Teams website essentially uses an iframe, um, so the full um, the full link doesn't work in that. And what you want to do is when you come over here, you're going to get the URL inside of here, and you want to grab from so the source URL SRC. Don't get the quotation mark. Get from HTTPS all the way to loop equals false. No need for this delay milliseconds because you're not going to have it automatically go through and stuff like that. So I just like to leave that out since we don't need it. So copy just that URL. That's it. So I'm going to hit Control C to copy. It's copied now. And if I go over to Teams, I'm going to add a new tab and I want to add a website. And so we'll call this Slides. And I'm just going to click Save. 
And you'll notice this displayed animation, it displays nicely in there. Now, another thing that's really nice about Google Slides is um, this bottom navigation bar, we can actually get rid of it completely. So you may have noticed when I showed my rubber duck example, this wasn't here for students to be able to you know, go to other slides, even though I have them hidden. Um, they can still actually navigate over to some slides. Um, so we can remove that. And if I edit our URL, what you need to put at the end of the URL is the an ampersand, which is like the, the and symbol, R M equals minimal. All right, and when you add that, it removes that bar from the bottom. Now it's gone. So that's another reason why Google Slides may be very useful for this. And since students don't need to make a copy of it, you don't have to worry about students having a Google account or anything like that. It's just you can create your own personal Google account or you know, with your Gmail or if you, this, your school has that also, you can grab that and, and embed it into your Teams and it works really well. Uh, hyperlinks will work also. So let's just go over and let's add a link. Oh, and I do want to show hyperlinks for one reason. So put that in there, and then if I go back to my team, I just got to give this a refresh. There it is. Now what's going to happen is a lot of people have been posting about this also. When you're using the Teams app, this error message shows up when you click on a hyperlink to something. It's not really an error message. Uh, it's just because it's it can't open this link inside of Teams, so it knows it needs to open inside your web browser. It's saying this is a, this is a little weird. So. Um, once you click OK, it does open up inside your web browser. So the website will open up perfectly fine. This does not happen um, if you're using the web browser version. So my students use the web browser version, so they don't ever see that issue at all. So for example, if I go over to my example student account, and we go over to this team, check this out, and go to this Google Slides one, Notice I'm in the web browser now. If I click this link, notice it just opens in a new tab for them. So if your students are on Chromebooks, they just use the web browser version, they're not, never going to see that error. Um, it's just if you're using it inside of the Teams app. Maybe worth noting to your students too, if they have, you know, they may use Teams on a Windows device, a couple of my students do. Um, so you have that there. So that all works really nice. The other thing you can do is, like I said, just save it as a PDF. So uh, if you don't care about animated GIFs or anything like that, you just want to have these a nice looking fun um, page for hyperlinks for your students to get to the certain websites you want them to go to, um, then just create your classroom. Maybe in, PowerPoint's a really nice tool to design it. Um, so you design it, you're going to go to File, Export. And this will export that slide that you're on as a PDF. So you go to create a PDF. And I'm going to create one. I think I already did, so it's just going to have me override it. That's it. It's created. And then on Teams, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the file section. You're going to upload that file. To your team. Students could access it from the file section and just click on it, but you may want to have a tab for them to be able to quickly get to it. So you just click new tab and there's a PDF option to display a PDF file. So you say PDF, you can select any of the files that are part of your team. And here it is. Here's that page. Links are still active. So I got the link. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. A couple of ways to do it. Google Slides is another great option. I still do recommend PowerPoint for, you know, just something where the students are going to click on and interact with different things. So use that. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to cover, um, other topics. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.